Back to back stem and leaf. Here is a back to back stem and leaf diagram showing the marks obtained by 30 girls and 30 boys in a physics test. The girls marks are on the left hand side of the diagram. So we have the stem in the middle going from 0 up to 9. The girls marks are on the left hand side and the boys are on the right hand side. So it's very important that when we are drawing out a back to back stem and leaf that the lower numbers are beside the stem. So if we have a look on the boys side we can see that across from the 1 which represents the 10s we have 3, 4, 5. So we're going up from 3 to 5 so we are ascending. We notice if we have a look at the 4s so this represents 40. So this represents 43, 44, 44, 49. Again, we're going upwards, so we're ascending. So 3, 4, 4, 9. Same with our 5s. So we're going 2, 2, 3, 5, 7, 7. So we're going up. Same with our 6s. 1, 2, 5, 8, 8, 9. So we're going upwards. But if we have a look at our girl's leaf, we're actually going backwards. So our numbers are descending because we have to have our lower numbers beside the stem. So for example here we have 9, 7, 2. So 2 is the lower number in this list, so 2 has to be beside the stem. In our list that corresponds with the 40s, we have 8, 6, 6, 6, 4, 2, 2. So the 2 is the lowest number in the list, that has to be beside the stem. And um, With our 50s we have 9, 8, 6, 4. So the 4 is the lowest number on our list, that has to be beside the stem and so on. So just be careful when you're drawing this out because we can make mistakes very easily. We have a key drawn in, so 2 line 6 equals 62 in this case because the 6 is the stem and the 2 is the leaf. Whereas over here our key is the other way around. 3 line 5 represents 35, the 3 is the stem and the 5 is the leaf. So part 1, how many girls scored more than 80? So if we have a look at our stem, we go down as far as 8. So we're interested in how many people scored more than 80. So this person here scored 80 exactly, so we're not interested in that person. But this person scored 82, 85, and then all of these people scored in the 90s. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 girls who scored more than 80. Their scores are 82, that 2 there represents 82, 85, that 5 there represents 85, 93, that 3 there represents 93, 94, that 4 there represents 94, 98, that 8 there represents 98, and 99, that 9 there represents 99. So six girls in total scored more than 80. Question two, how many boys scored more than 80? So again, we're going to go to eight on our stem and look at our leaf. So that four there represents 84, and that's greater than 80. That seven represents 87, which is also greater than 80. And that one represents 91, which is greater than 80. So that's one, two, three. So three boys scored more than 80. Their scores are 84, 87, 91. Number three, if 50 is the pass mark, did more boys than girls pass the test? So let's have a look and see how many boys passed the test. So anyone who got 50 or more passed the test. So all of these digits represent something in the 50s. All of these digits represent something in the 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So 19 boys passed. Let's have a look at the girls. So these digits here all represent someone who scored in the 50s. These are in the 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s. So 1, 2, 3, 4 scored in the 50s, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 17 girls passed.